Hello everybody and welcome back to the Scott Edwards YouTube channel. You're joining me in my kitchen for a slightly different kind of video today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you, lovely viewers, how I make a pizza. Um, why am I doing this exactly? Well, I used to make these cooking videos uh, back in like, when I was like a kid and I thought I was the funniest fucking thing in the world, but I actually really enjoyed making those kind of videos, so I wanted to do a little bit of a throwback kind of thing, but also just actually, you know, make the food that I'm going to make today. So, enough uh, fucking stammering on his words, let's actually make the food. Now, what am I going to be making today? Oh. It's that simple. I'm going to be making a homemade meat feast pizza. And it's very, very simple. All you need is four ingredients. Uh, and I shall show you them. The first ingredient that you need is a pizza! I've just got a standard pepperoni one. You can have margarita, but I think having a pepperoni one is better because you get more meat. The second ingredient is some German meatballs. Um, I've already opened this because I'm a fat piece of shit and I couldn't help myself but I eat them because they're really fucking nice. Third ingredient is just, just some very freaking old shredded cheese, boy. Um, I don't really know what to say about this, it's just, it's just cheese. And then the fourth ingredient, I've just realised I've left in the lard. But it's chili flakes. Uh, so you join me on the kitchen counter where I will be opening the pizza. This is the first step to making said food. Uh, all you want to do is Okay, so now that's gotten out of the way, you have the pizza. Ta-da! And then um, one, two, three magic trick. See? Wow. Um, magic. Now, I'm not actually going to put the pizza inside of the oven just yet because there's still some things that we need to do. We need to open it. So, let's open it. Um, How are we all doing today? I am. Um, I've been doing bits recently in terms of um, my life. I've started alcohol college, which is great. I don't think I have ever really mentioned it on the YouTube channel. I probably did, but uh, yeah. With re recently finishing my college time in LMA, I thought, fuck it. Um, let's let's go to alcohol college. I don't know. I kind of wanted to be a bartender. If you didn't know already, I did uh, some part-time stuff with an agency company called, uh, actually no, I'm not going to say their name, uh, I might get sued, but I did some part-time stuff and it was actually quite fun, um, I learned quite a bit, but I feel like I didn't really have like enough opportunities if that made sense, um, a lot of fucking, you know, there weren't that many shifts available for me or anything like that, pardon me. So I just thought, fuck it, let's learn how to be an actual bartender and get a full-time job. Because I couldn't really live on the money that I was getting. Um, on to the second step. And the second step, just said simple, you just put a little bit of cheese in there. Okay? Um, but yeah, like I said, I so I started alcohol college, which is great. I'm um, going to get proper qualification being a bartender and all that stuff. And all that shit. Just groovy. And then hopefully at the end of the um, course, I'll get a job. Fun. Now, all the cheese has been added. Just close that up. I can't, I'm really not that good at cooking, as you can tell already. I'm probably 
cooking something of me cooking. What, no shell? Oh, that's a winner. Yeah, that's a first. Oh. On to the third step. Uh, let me just go get the ingredient. Okay. I have now changed the setup. You might notice the pizza is over there. That's because we're going to put the meat on there. Um, all you really want to do is just get the meatballs, open the thing up, the meatball. Make sure you've washed your hands, by the way. I've already washed my hands, but make sure you wash your hands. It's good to practice safe hygiene. Now, a lot of people think you cut with the knife like that. Don't do that. You can rip your finger open. What you actually have to do is dead simple. You just put your hand over it instead, like that and cut down, it's fucking, you know, it's easy. And then you have the knife like that, easy. So whilst you're doing this, let's talk more about what's going on in my life. Um, what is going on in my life? Well, like I previously mentioned, you know, I'm going to alcohol college, which is fun. Um, I got my GCSEs back and I didn't pass my maths, which is unfortunate, but I passed my English, which is great. It means I don't need to reset it again. Good part about being in alcohol college is obviously that um, they let me reset it with them, which is good. So um, I need to sort that out. Um, <laughs> I haven't sorted that out yet because I'm incredibly lazy. Um, what well, about stuff for the YouTube channel? Well, uh, alongside more kind of homely vlogs like this, I've been thinking of doing some other stuff. I don't know what yet. Maybe leave some ideas. I might do it like a QA and a or something like that. So leave some ideas in the comment section of what you may or may not want to see from me. And I may or may not do them, depending on whether I remember. Um, one more, just for good luck. Something like that. Right. Now, you've got your meatballs. What do you want to do? Well, you want to put them on the pizza. Uh, put the meatballs on it, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard. Put all the meatballs on it. I may have put a bit too many to be honest, but still. Um, you can actually put them on afterwards, it's really up to you. It depends on which ones you get. These ones have already been cooked. Uh, there's no harm in putting them again, but they've already been cooked. Um, then add a little bit more cheese, just because. And then onto the final ingredient. An option. I take it because um, I like my pizza to have a little bit more zest. Um, but yeah. Kind of reminds me of something I used to do. I actually um, used to pretend to make cooking videos all the time. It's kind of sad, but I used to do that because. Oh, oh, that's not good. Move that there. And then the final ingredient is. Da -da -da -da. It's chili flakes. It's chili flakes. It's, I've just stepped on a piece of cheese. It's chili flakes. Um, like I said before, you can do this if you want to. You don't have to do it though. I just do it because, like I said, gives the pizza a little bit more extra zest. None of them are actually coming out. There we go. Gives the pizza a little bit more zest. And then, uh, oh my god, that's not a good thing. YOLO! I'm gonna regret this. Right, it's on to. The oven. The oven. Wow. Amazing. What you want to do is just turn it on. Um, don't want to cook it too high, because if you cook it too high, you end up burning it. It'll taste like shit. So I recommend having it on a low heat and cooking it for a, a long time. I say about 180, 200 degrees. Put it out there. It's fine. Um, you just put it in. Open the oven. Put it in. Once you've put the oven into the kitchen. What the fuck did I just say? The fuck did I just say then? Once you've put the pizza in the oven, once you put the oven in the fucking kitchen, fucking. Oh, anyway, once you put the pizza in the oven, all that's left to do is just wait for it to cook for about 10 15 minutes and take it out and enjoy a lovely homemade uh, meat feast pizza. Um, cook it if you want, you can fold it in half like a little fucking. I like what's it called, calzone, that's the one. Um, but yeah, uh, well, that's been this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. 
weird thing, I don't know, it's just some sort of concept for you, I guess. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.